Hey guys, I'm gonna show you something crazy. I'm on my MacBook Air M2, and you can see here, this is my MacBook Air M2, eight gigs of RAM, uh, 10 GPUs, right? So that's my Mac, and I'm connecting via this uh, remote desktop connection, right? Um, you can see this is this remote desktop connection I'm using to connect to my desktop PC, which has uh, Ryzen 9 7900X 3D, 12 core processor. It's uh, 24 threads, there's 24 of them. And the GPU is iGPU, so this is integrated GPU, and it is a Radeon R file, right? And we're looking at Blender. Uh, IRDC over the IP address that will be uh, a cable so to my router it's connected via cable but then this laptop is connected over Wi-Fi to this router so I don't know what the speed of MacBook Air would be over the Wi-Fi um, yeah so we have it pretty fluid right pretty fluid it's you can't say it's quite it's, it's usable. I can actually, you know, I can I can have a fun with Blender on my Mac, you know, and, 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 and have it just run on my workstation down there in the other room, you know. And um, yeah, it's the old school way, right? And and this is this is shaded now. Now look at this. It's still working. So I wonder if I'll have same kind of fun when I put their uh, GeForce card one of those powerful 4000 series RTXs if it will be able to stream it over the network like this and now I'm going to just kill the CPU you see the CPU goes to here you got the temperature it goes to uh, 76 degrees um, oh this thing says the rendering is done I don't think it renders this viewport completely I think it's just some some degree of rendering happening here it takes 50 samples let me just do render 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 image oh here we go and it says it will take three minutes four minutes hmm. why why would you be taking so much time i oh, know that second sorry hmm forgive me it says two minutes 55 seconds left so it's gonna be rendering it for a while you can still see the grain and it's getting better and better so this is pretty cool i can actually work on my from my mac remote connect to my pc and just and just work like this it still has 35 seconds to go the cpu is very hot 80 degrees. What's fascinating is that once it finishes rendering, the power and the, everything will just go to normal, like 40 degrees and so on. It will not be, you know, killing the CPU anymore. It will very quickly cool down. So it's very interesting how very efficient cooling, right? Oh, look. I think it finished in 3 minutes 11 seconds. And it immediately cools down now. Oh, look, 52. It was 80. 30 degrees in a matter of a few seconds. It just went down to like 47. It's mad how, how efficient this cooling is. Like imagine you have a hot coffee, like a cup of coffee, which is 80 degrees. And uh, well, uh, your coffee will be 100 maybe. But let's say, let's say you have 80 degrees instant coffee. And in three in, in five seconds it becomes drinkable. Forty-five. <laughs> I mean that's fast. <laughs> you know, that's fast. Look at this, it rendered. That's so cool. Alright.